participating in the art of living black has um, provided me an opportunity to really um, be in community with other artists. Because um, I think that when artists are working professionally, it tends to be very isolative, unless you're like a collaborative artist or a performance artist. And, um, and to be able to like really um, meet new artists, you know, because the Art of Living Black is, is a venue where um, it accepts all artists, you know, of African descent. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you are in your career. You can participate. And I think what I have seen is I have seen people be timid about exhibiting, about showing their work even, like showing their work to their family even, and get to a point where they have a venue where they can show their work. And, um, and then it inspires them or pushes them or gives them something to continue to do more work for the next year. So in that regard, I think that it's really a wonderful thing because particularly um, as African Americans, you know, you get Black History Month pretty much and you can get into some other things, you know, if you're like really pushing yourself and aggressive about it or if you've made it. <laughs> but um, venues are scarce, you know, and... Um, and of course, you can go out there and you can create your own venues and you can do all the work, all the publicity, you know, curate your own show, do all the framing, everything, which is like keep, keeping you out of the studio. And so in that regard, I think uh, The Art of Living Black is really wonderful. And one of the things that I really loved very early on is, um, oh gosh, it must have been like maybe the first or second year. Um, there was a call. One of the artists, Salongo Lee, who is a photographer, and maybe John, um, maybe Jonathan Eubanks, I can't remember. He's also a photographer, but I think it was mostly Salongo Lee. Um, there was a big call for all the Art of Living Black members to meet downtown Oakland in front of City Hall and do a group photo. And I mean, there must have been a hundred of us down there. And it was just so fabulous. And then everybody got, um, you know, a group photo so you get to see all of those. You know, it's kind of a documentation. But also the fact that so many artists turned out for that really pointed to me about the benefit of having the art of living black as a community builder. Because I know so many people now who like live around me, you know, like right in my neighborhood that I never would have even known if it had not been for, you know, this organization. So um, kudos to Ray and um, Jen Hartshire. You know, I have to say this about the art of living black. I have to say this about Ray Hayward. I think that she is one of the most fantastic, incredible people that I've known. She has, you know, like her partner, that she um, developed the art of living black with passed away very shortly after its inception. And Ray has carried this to, into all these fields. Now there's these satellite exhibits, there's the Richmond Art Center, there's the Convention Center, there's the beautiful gallery that, that we exhibit in now, and all the publicity, all the press releases, the fine, um, um, brochure that comes out every year for the Art of Living Black, the featuring of artists. So, you know, artists get to look forward to the possibility of being the featured artist and having their own space, you know, in the gallery, which some people have never had before. And um, Ray has single-handedly tackled that. I mean, she has support from the community, but it's a testament to her because she has been able to go out and... and um, you know, get people behind her to, to um, you know, pull that together. So I just really needed to say that because, you know, the art of living black is a lot of Ray. And um, I really appreciate her for that.